So welcome, I'm John Rose, Chief AI Officer and Chief Technology Officer of Dell. Um, in this session, I want to talk to you about the AI market. <laughs> Everybody knows AI is a big deal, you know, there's lots of things going on, but what most people aren't aware of is that the AI market today is actually three very distinct markets that are interrelated but different. Um, the first part of the AI market is the pre-gen AI traditional AI market. We've been doing AI for a very long time. Uh, things like reinforcement learning, machine learning, computer vision have all been part of our technology ecosystem for potentially decades. And that didn't go away two Novembers ago when generative AI emerged. It is still incredibly important. And in fact, what we find is that the traditional AI frameworks, machine learning, reinforcement learning, computer vision, and other technologies are actually incredibly important front ends. They are the way that data from the real world becomes data that the digital world can understand, which is a prerequisite before you can actually do things with a generative system. Uh, the second market that's, that's very visible today is what we call the training market. And this is the market that is a fairly limited set of companies using immense quantities of compute to build the foundation models of the world. And it's not a giant market in terms of the number of participants, but it's a gigantic market in terms of the amount of data centers that are being built, the amount of GPUs that are being applied, and it has significant impacts. One, it is reshaping and creating a complete competitive environment for the future of search and social networking and advertising. It's got profound impacts on the consumer side of the world. But more importantly, it's also producing foundation models that are used by every other part of the AI industry, and it's the place where the technology is maturing the fast enough, which will have an impact on the other parts of the AI industry. And that brings us to the third distinct market, which is the enterprise market. The enterprise market is not the same as the training market. Enterprises are not trying to build gods. They're not trying to build an AI that can do everything. They are simply trying to apply AI to improve the processes of their business to be more productive and competitive in their space. Because of that, it's a very different ecosystem. It's a bit more slower moving. It has higher, uh, higher risk thresholds. There's a lot of caution. It's maybe more complex. There are a lot more customers, millions of customers there. And so from our perspective, it's really the place where AI will take hold and really transform the world, but it will take time to get there. What's important to recognize in this chart, though, is these markets are interrelated. If you look at it from an enterprise perspective, which is where our bias is, what we see is that the traditional AI market is the digital front end for the enterprise. If you want to modernize a factory, you are going to be using computer vision and reinforcement learning and machine learning algorithms to translate the real world into the digital world to do Gen AI. In addition to that, the training industry is incredibly important because this is where the high quality foundation models are coming from that we're using to actually build out the AI infrastructure. And then more importantly, the learnings that we're discovering about how to build compute, how to make it efficient, how to do storage, how to do networking in large scale AI environments, are translating directly into the enterprise market. So at the end of the day, all three of these markets will continue. They are all related to each other in some way. Uh, the generative, the pre-gen AI market, it's well underway, growing fast, well understood. The training market, that's the hot property. That's where most of the energy in the world is focused on in terms of making these foundation models happen. But the real prize is activating the enterprise. And it turns out that everything we do in the pre-gen AI world and in the training world is helping us accelerate that path to activate the enterprises around the world to completely transform how they do work and how productive they are. Um, important to see these as three distinct markets because if you confuse them, and you don't understand their difference, you might not understand which players are playing which role and which technologies matter and what problem we're solving because the problems are different even though the technology is the same, but ultimately they are all related and this collection of these three markets actually characterizes the AI market that we all like to talk about.